Hey, this is Mike with Notion Forms. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use some of Notion Forms' new custom field features. If you don't know how to use Notion Forms yet, or you don't know how to create an account or link it to your existing Notion databases, feel free to check out our other introductory videos uh, because we won't cover those steps in this video. So I'm going to show you a quick example actually on our own website here of some of these custom fields. So you see our feedback form here makes use of a few things. First of all, we have an icon and a cover. You'll notice that these are very similar to the same features on Notion itself when it comes to icons and page covers. But then we also have some fields here in the form and a page that says next rather than submit. So this means that we can create multi-page Notion forms here. And we can also add some custom text wherever we need to. And those are the two main features I'm going to explain in this video. So basically, I'm going to rebuild this form from scratch. So first, we start off in our Notion account. So you see, I already have this database built out where we have the properties, name, email. And then just like with the form that exists here, on a scale of one to 10, how likely are you, zero to 10, how likely are you to recommend us? Uh, we have that same field here with drop down options already created, and then a text field for feedback. So once you have that created, you go into your Notion Forms account, which I already have pulled up here, and we create a new form. I'm going to select that database, custom fields test that I just showed you. And again, if you don't know how to set any of this up, we do have instructional videos explaining all of this in detail. So feel free to check those out first. Then I will click continue. And now we are in the form builder. So let me get this out of the way here. Okay, so you see that these fields already show up here. So I'm just going to do a little bit of rearranging first, just so it's in the correct order. Now, to create a multi-page form, what we need to do is add a custom field called page break. So when we enter a new block, you see that we have a couple options for block type, the two that I mentioned, a text block and a page break. A page break in this case will break up the form into multiple pages. So I'm going to select this, let's call this page break and click add block. And you need to make sure you drag that page break to where you want the form to be split up. So in this case, we're going to do two on the first page, two on the second page. So I have my page break right in the middle. And you see right here, it automatically breaks that up. So we have uh, two fields here, and then you click next, and you have the two other fields. Now I'm going to show you how to add that nice little text at the end of the form. And so that is another custom block here. And it's just the other one that exists, text block. And we're just going to call this text block. And then we need to customize this. So I do want my text block at the very end of the form, but we open it up and we can say, um, quick submit to send us your feedback. And then you can also choose from some formatting options. So uh, in this case, I'll make this italic. So I'll highlight that and italicize it just so it looks a little nicer there. And you see that shows up nicely. I'm going to just add a couple of other features here. So I'm going to make some of these fields required. And again, we explain these, this feature in another video as well. The feedback text, I'm going to just leave optional in case people don't want to do that. Now, the other thing that I mentioned, as you see on this Notion form here, is the icon and page cover. So very simple, down here under customization, you see two options here to upload an image for cover picture and for logo. So I have a couple of things already picked out for that, but basically for the cover, I'm going to pick this nice stock photo of a sunset over water. And then for the logo, I am going to use the one and only Notion Forms logo. And you see it shows up here very nicely. The cover shows up nicely. And we are all set to now finalize this form. So I'm going to click, click Create Form. And it's done. So now I want to embed this. And again, check out our other videos to see more detailed explanations of how to 
embed these forms, but basically I'm just going to show you what this will look like here. It on the same page as the database. And so we can make this nice and big here. And voila, you have a nice, beautiful Notion form with multiple pages, some custom fields, a nice icon, and a nice cover. So that is how you can use Notion forms uh, and a couple of our new features. So thank you for watching and good luck creating your new Notion forms.